Hey, I'm back. Well, just been a, just uh, all I had to do is tap that password in. This is back on that Fedora 25 system, the uh, Dell 1525 laptop. And because uh, it's small, because I'm going through two VNC connections, and so you know it's always a little smaller. So the first one's smaller than my normal monitor, and then the second one is. 1024 by 768, but there it is. Uh, it's probably a bit slow. I see that it changed over there, but I haven't seen the change in the window yet. There we go. Oh, it's not changing at all, is it? It's changing over there. I guess uh, just not enough uh, network speed. I'll go ahead and I'll have Let's see. <coughs> of course, you can't tell whether or not my I have a KVM switch, but you see it's changing instantly on the on the laptop. But I'm not seeing it change in my view over there, so it's not of much use, is it? But uh, if I connect it straight to it, then I'm sure it would be fine. I'd have to change my router port, for, forwarding ports on my router. But uh, okay, so what it was, let me go. Let's see. Let me use my KVM switch and get back on the laptop. <coughs> I'll show what it was I did. Did. Okay, so what it ended up being. To get it working anyway, well, first place, the line that's in blue, that is XVNC. It's running. That's what I was looking for. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, yeah, I typed in that command uh, VNC server, and it brought up and said uh, about making, you need to you need to make a password. And uh, so I stopped the video because I couldn't, I just couldn't type that long of a password with one hand. So I went ahead and did it, and then it said it's creating the uh, files that it normally does when you do this the first time. And then I uh, thought, okay, well, let's go see if it's running. And so, yep, it was running. So I thought, okay, let's go try it. And, it. and it popped right up looking for the password. Now, what's funny is uh, I have two passwords set with that KRFB app. Oh, um, well, I can show it. This is the predefined password. Uh, and uh, I have an unintended password, and I don't know why it's acting kind of crazy why it is, or maybe I need to re just use this to set the passwords again. Maybe it would be all right. Then again, it might break it, <laughs> what I got going here. But this password, well, that wouldn't because this is the password I had to use, the one that's uh, pre-generated. So I'll go ahead and change this later. So I'm not giving you my password. <coughs> but uh, this one... The one you can't see, you enable unattended access. That's the one I kept typing in, and it would kept saying, you know, error, try, you want to try again. So finally I thought, okay, maybe the, uh, it's only looking for this password. And it was. It was looking for this. And then I typed it in, got this where I could see it, typed it in, and uh, <coughs> then it said uh, over here on the laptop, it said, do you want to allow the connection, which is a safer way to do it. It's just more aggravating. Sometimes you're not where you can allow the access, you know, maybe that's the whole reason you're doing VNC. Like, say, if I'm in the garage and I want to connect to my machine in here, well, you can't use it that way. So, uh, um, I don't know. I, I think maybe the combination of this app and the other app probably kind of throws things around in circles. But, uh, um, <coughs> anyway, it is working now. And, uh, so that's a good thing. So if I wanted to make a video, I could do that now. Some other, uh, I'm, I'm just getting to know this new system, and I'm already thinking uh, there's some. I'm, I might change my mind and put some something else on it, like maybe the Bane that, uh, or something. But uh, I want it to run, you know, nice and fast. And so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do is watch some videos and see if it can keep up with that. If it can't keep, that's what I use it for. If it can't keep up with videos. Which is what it was doing. It was so sluggish I could barely use it on Fedora 21. So I thought, well, maybe a new system without any a whole bunch of extra apps on it. You know, things running in the background will uh, 
make it work again. But uh, but it's also, you know, well, oddly, Fedora 25, 23 seemed a little lighter than the couple of the previous versions to it. Uh, seemed like it, at least if you don't, you know, we're out off the bat. So 25 seems fairly lightweight. I mean, it, it seems to... So, well, when I first booted it up a while ago, it seemed a little slow, but just like normally... Of course, you can't tell just by looking at their menus. But when I'm really using it, I'll see. But, uh, anyway, I think I'll turn off that VNC. Now that I know that it will work, I'll just, you know, turn it off and, and uh, see how the thing runs. I think I'll try rebooting it and see if it open, starts itself up. That VNC, XVNC does. But yeah, here in a minute, I'll, I'll leave that like that because when I, when I get off the video, I'm going to go change that password again. But, uh, okay. Well, this is done, so finally I've got Fedora 25 to run uh, and connect <laughs> to uh, VNC. <coughs> All right, bye bye. That's uh, Tiger VNC, that is what, what I'm. Well, actually, I'm not sure. I have Vino and Tiger on here. I'm not sure which one I'm actually connected to. It says XVNC. So, uh, I don't know if that's Tiger or uh, Vino VNC that I'm connecting to, to be honest. Okay.